Yes, Russ Bridle, 225 Toll Farm Road. I do respect the Budget Committee and the hard work they do. However, I think they made some drastic cuts in the proposed budget that was brought forward by the Board of Selectmen. Just this storm alone, this one we just got done, Public Works spent $12,000 on fuel, $10,000 on salt, $20,000 in subcontract labor, and $23,000 in overtime. That's just Public Works. Fire was about another $8,000, police was about $8,000 in overtime. We cannot plan on emergencies. We cannot plan on storms. They're telling us right now we're going to get another 12, 13 inch storm on Monday. We can't keep cutting, cutting, cutting and expecting our roads to get fixed, the potholes that are in them, as she just stated. You know, a lot of us are taxpayers in this town. A lot of us understand that if you want to, if you want to fix your house, you can't keep spending less on it. You've got to put some money into the infrastructure. We have sewerage, we have drainage in this town that is going crazy. Any chance it could collapse some of it at any time. If that happens and if you, we haven't prepared for that, then we're in deep trouble. The proposed amendment would cost the average home in Hampton $329,000. It will cost them $91 an additional over the budget that the Budget Committee gave and over the proposed amendment. That's less than 25 cents a day. I would encourage you that if you want to see our town move forward, you want to see us start to work on some of our infrastructure, which we desperately need, that you pass this amendment. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bryant.